My name is Darren Dodds, I'm a service engineer and have been for the last 20 years. My name is Malcolm Williams and I've been in the engineering business for 30 years. Me and Darren are here today um, to look at an e-back and a Bosch washing machine. We're going to take them apart and we're going to show you what's inside them. Right guys, we've actually split the e-back down. The first thing we've noticed is the, the drum. The drum is actually two halves joined together by nuts and bolts. Um, I mean, it's so much more serviceable. Um, you can take the inner drum out, drum shaft, bearings, a lot more serviceable, a lot more better for the environment. And I think it's important to, to point out the drum can come apart. For instance, if um, a bra, a bra wires to get stu stuck within this drum between this and this, then on a lot of machines, you'd have to actually scrap the machine, but on this machine, you could take the whole thing apart, get the bra wire out, put it back together, you've saved the machine, it's not going to landfill. It's a good order. If you get that bra wire stuck within the, um, the outer casing and the inner casing, that's the end of the machine with the Bosch. Yeah. Got to change the drum, too expensive, the customer's going to replace it. Yeah, this definitely. thing, we're going to sort it out, we're going to get yeah. it going. Strip it down, get the bra wire, get it back together and jobs are good. Yeah. So, move on to the next components, might as well move on to the motor next and see what's, uh, see what's going on with that. So we've got the, the e-back motor, um, first thing I've noticed is it's, uh, it's actually built by LG. Um, yep. Definitely a company I've heard of. It's not a bad thing. No, um, good with electronics. Um, the other thing is the difference in size, um, build quality of this motor, the, the e-back one compared to the Bosch motor. Just the basics is you've got four mounting points on this particular motor as against the, the two that you've got on the Bosch. Um, it will give it more support, it'll hold it at the bottom of the drum better. But the other thing that I did notice earlier on was the, the Bosch had a solid pressed steel um, flywheel. The e bag actually has a, um, a cast one, which is obviously, it's got a lot more flexibility within it. It's not gonna, um, it's more expensive to build, it's not gonna fall apart. Yeah. Um, there should be more grip there for the belt to be on, as opposed to that solid disc that Bosch have been using on theirs. Yep. And then finally on our drain pump. <laughs> Difference in this one is the fact that we've, we've got a recirculation pump. Um, we actually are recirculating the water straight back up into the drum, which is then dampening down the clothes to, to circulate that water back to the top of the wash, yep. really. So you can see you've got the difference between the Bosch where you only had the, the one drain pump, and the one pump body. Um, you've got the drain pump, you've got the recirculation pump, Manifold's nice and deep, um, shouldn't really get anything through any, either of the impellers. The impellers look quite closed in and quite capsulated. I think it'll be so much better for customers. Yeah, absolutely. And you should be able to see in there, the, from the customer's point of view, um, if something does get stuck in there, then they're going to be able to get to it really. Um, the blades of the impeller are well protected, so even if they do make any mistakes, Really, they're going to be able to sort it out, no problem. Yeah. Another thing is obviously the, the drain down hose, it's positioned quite low within the pump manifold itself, so there should be very minimal after the customer's drained it down through the drain down hose coming back out of the manifold yeah. to protect the customer's property. Yeah. Uh, much better.